basic reminder of what is TV analytics. TV analytics is actually digitalizing TV and talking about attribution. The, the, the principle is very simple for those of you uh, who don't know this. Uh, we have some TV spots with call to action, uh, inviting people to go to, on the web. And what happened is that millions of people are watching the same uh, program at the same time. So it generates a peak of traffic on your website or your mobile app or even your call centers. And our job is to make the attribution of this traffic among all the other channels of your uh, marketing strategy. So you have display campaign, you have AdWords campaign, you have a social ads campaign, you have TV campaigns, and you are missing the, uh, the digital data relating to the TV. Not anymore, because we have, uh, we have the TV attribution uh, platform. But the, the thing we wanted to talk with you, uh, I wanted to talk to, uh, about today is what we are really talking about. Are we talking about conversions, or are we talking about customers? Because this is something, this is something that can be uh, easily forgotten when we are talking about optimizing a media plan. Uh, everyone can be focused as a digital marketer on having the, great, the greatest conversion rate, the best CTR, etc., etc. But sometimes we just forget that we are talking about real people. We are talking about customers that are hiding behind the, the TV. And sometimes we can just have a look at the number and forget this. So, our approach is to think about, really think about the customer, the people who are uh, behind this. It's very important because sometimes, uh, if you just have a look at the data, you can take bad decision only led by numbers. There is numbers, of course, but there is also all uh, what is uh, around this, and especially on TV, because when you're on TV, yes, you can have a performance approach to TV, but don't forget that TV is a premium media. TV is building awareness in any cases. So this awareness, this brand awareness, is also important to take into account because you're touching a lot of people there. And so what is a customer-centric approach? First, we, I'm talking about the basic of the TV analytics uh, platforms. We have a TV spot. We trigger traffic, thanks to the creative, with a call to action. And these visits are then going on the digital. So this is the simple representation of uh, what the, the, the TV attribution platform are doing today. But actually, let's dig into the, the visit. We think that the visit is actually a person. It's a cookie, yes, but it's a person. And we can have a deeper le level of uh, analysis on these th three levels. Uh, let's talk about the visit itself. Actually, it's a person, so maybe we need to understand, is it a man or woman? What is his age? Uh, what is the location? Does he have some interest? Because this, these are really useful information. Uh, besides the fact that he came on the website, it is a conversion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's not only a number; it's also a person. So we need to understand it. And when we understand this, we can then start studying in this direction. So, for example, we we made a study, and this is this is actually a very uh, very interesting study, because we studied some uh, campaign targeting men and women. And actually, we can see that even if you are looking at the, the best time slots, the best channels, the best creative to put on TV, sometimes you also have to think about your target. And if we have a look at the men and women, we found out that when you're targeting a man, the, the repetition, the, the GRP here, you need to uh, have three GRP to touch some men and to touch the equivalent of women, you need to, to put five GRPs. So this is based on, on a lot of campaigns we had because we also had this, this data about gender, which is important to understand because if you're targeting women, probably you will think uh, differently about the way you are going to plan your TV. Besides the fact that you're going to have some uh, uh, sweet spot in terms of channels of creative, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Let's come back again on this, on this uh, schema. And um, let's talk about the media itself. Of course, this is a job of the agency uh, to, uh, to study about the best content, etc. But there is, uh, there is also uh, the, 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 the creative itself to consider. So we have two, two examples here. The, the first one is about, uh, and this is you know, one case we're working on, on with our, our friends of DCMN. 
So we worked, we worked for, for a, a customer here, and obviously having a look at the, the media plan is very important. But then you also have the engagement. It's not only about conversion, it's also about engagement. And you see you can increase the command, you can increase the visit, but you can also increase the engagement. That is to say how many pages are views, how many products are views on the, on the website, which is also a great indicator in terms of digital strategy. We're talking about this just afterwards. And I was talking about the creative itself. And actually, the creative is also the entry point for TV, for TV advertising and for performance. And sometimes this is something that can be forgotten. And as you see here, in this case, we had a first campaign with this advertiser. And we found out that the, the, the main issue was about the creative, the call to action. So we worked with the agency, and we, we suggested that uh, we should uh, upgrade the, the creative with a bigger CTA. And this is what has been done, and actually this was the, the biggest uh, change between the first campaign and the second, and the results were there. Actually, bigger CTA, bigger engagement, a few optimization, of course, on the media plan, but this is also one point to consider. So it's not only about data, it's uh, about the analysis, of course, of the data, but also the customer knowledge. We need to understand our customers. We need to understand who are these people that are watching TV and then are coming on, the web, on our website. Because they are real people, and sometimes we can have misunderstanding about this. Last one is about the digital, because it's not only TV to web. It's TV to digital. And then there is another life on the digital, because there is also the device, but people are going maybe on the search on the Google to search your brand, but are they going to search for only your brands? Or maybe uh, if you're a car, uh, a car rental platform, are they going to search for car rental platforms? Are they uh, having a look at your competitors? Uh, are they looking from uh, reference, good reference, bad reference about your product? This is also something you should consider because when you communicate on TV, you, have, you touch a mass of people, and of course, they will search for information on you, but maybe some on some other people. So this is also about the customer journey. And then they will come on your website, but maybe they will come on your Facebook page, they will come on your application, they will, they will go somewhere else. Maybe you should consider to have uh, another strategy to touch these people. And here you know that the first touch point you had with them was about TV. So you, now you get, you get data to do this. And so this is exactly what what we, we think that it's important to consider, TV is great, but TV plus digital is, is even better because when we have this data, we can then build new scenarios exactly the same you can do today. For example, the first uh, obvious scenario is about retargeting. Today, when people are coming on your website, you retarget them. When they come from TV, they also come on your website, but you have this little information that can enable you to create new scenario. They saw your TV ad, they saw the story you told them, they were watching TV, they were watching your ad. They were not on the digital, maybe clicking on the banner, sometimes uh, by error, but here you have an highly engaged people coming from TV. Maybe you can consider retarget them with the same creative on another creative, but this time on Facebook or YouTube or any other uh, digital inventory. This is a scenario that is customized for these people coming from TV. And then with the data, you also have the possibility to uh, extend your reach. You know that you touch people on the TV. Maybe you can try to touch them another time or a third time and then to cap and try to, to reach some other people. Because now you have data that uh, tells you that you have touched people from the TV. Uh, same for personalization. You have data. So you can maybe customize your landing page, your home pages. And again, it's about the customer journey. A customized experience means a higher engagement. And obviously, uh, working on the A-B testing on this kind of thing, even on the home page of the landing page, based on TV data, can lead to uh, great numbers in terms of conversion. And last but not least, I'm talking about customer, um, uh, customer journey. You have a GMP, you have a CRM, you have any other, uh, any other platform to connect your data, to meet your data, fine. We create data 
obviously the goal is to give you the data and to enable you to create any other new scenario to understand better your customers. So integrating this data in your own system can be very important. It's, it can be strategic for you, but you can then have better uh, knowledge about your customers. So this is also about this. Now, let's have concrete example of what I was, uh, I was talking about. About the, the retargeting. So we work with, with Justit, probably you, you know them. And what we, 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 made, we made with them was about to create this retargeting scenario I told you about. And actually, we compared the TV-enabled retargeting and the classical Facebook retargeting. And when we compare this, we have three times higher conversion rate compared to the classical retargeting scenario. Why? Because we have people that are engaged. So the engagement coming from TV is different from the digital because you're watching TV, you're taking your device, you're typing the URL, etc. You have to make some effort actually to come on the website. And so why you do this? Because you're interesting. Retargeting these people, they are hot leads, obviously you have an higher uh, engagement rate, which is good. Another case is about uh, a travel agency. And this time we focus on the value, really the value that was uh, at the end um, created by the, these visitors. So we're not talking about uh, do, do these TV spots actually generate uh, uh, traffic on my website. It was, the data was mixed into the, the DMP and then they found out that uh, on, the, on the long sale cycle, people coming from TV are actually generating more value than people coming from some other channels. Which is important to know because if you just have a look at the first click, maybe you can just say, well, what no, it was not uh, that interesting, but actually it is. So again, customer knowledge mixed with data analysis can lead to better performance on the digital. There is a lot of scenario, and unfortunately, I don't have a, a lot of time today to, to discuss about this. But keep in mind that TV is not only about performance, it's a mix between branding, between um, uh, brand awareness, and also between data and performance. And so our job is to help you as an advertiser, as an agency, to find the best mix between power and performance, because again, this media is not only focused on targeting one single people, you're targeting a mass of people, so you need to understand really who are the people that are engaged here. Um, I will finish the, this talk with a small presentation of us because I'm talking about, uh, since the beginning, maybe you're wondering, who are these smart guys? Actually, we, we, we started this company uh, four years ago now, and uh, in one week, it will be our fourth year. Uh, so we, we founded this company in France, in Paris. Uh, we, are now, we now have four offices uh, here in Germany, in the UK, but also in Australia not only about uh, surfing and scuba diving, but I can explain why. Um, uh, we are working, we are lucky to, to be able to work with uh, 300 uh, uh, brands, uh, pure players, e-commerce, but also uh, click and motor um, uh, brands, which is very interesting in terms of knowledge. And, and obviously we are a data company, so we are tracking data, and, and one of our key metrics is the number of spots we can analyze because we have deeper knowledge, a deeper understanding of how TV works. And we operate glo globally, and we are lucky to, to have more and more customers uh, here in Germany, but also in Europe and, uh, and even out of Europe. Um, I'm done. I hope I was clear, and uh, we have some time for uh, questions, so uh, don't hesitate. Thank you very much. Yes. So uh, the question was about the attribution. Is it only based on uh, about time? Uh, the answer is no. Um, so we, we have two types of measures. We measure first the direct response, which is the, the traffic uplift uh, that a spot can generate in a few minutes after the, the, uh, the spot airing. So we, uh, our methodology is to do some scoring algorithm. So we mix uh, uh, up to 20 criteria. So the time of 
the time of uh, beginning of the session on the website is one of them. And uh, we then mix this with behavior analysis. So uh, things like um, uh, session duration, uh, page views, etc. Because uh, our algorithm are learning from the traffic, the baseline, the, the regular traffic of the website, and then are able to distinguish people coming from TV. And this is also thanks to the, 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 the huge number of spots we have in the database to understand the behavior of people coming from TV. Usually, the navigation uh, behavior is different. So this is how we can identify people coming from TV. Yes? Sure. Oh, this one, yeah. Uh, um, the cookie, so the, the question is, uh, how do we identify people? Or how do we mix with uh, demo data? So um, the cookie is an online data. So we, we attribute people coming from TV, so on an on a individual basis. And then we mix this with uh, social uh, and demographic data in order to get this kind of information. No, we, we partner with, the, with the, 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 the biggest database, which, is, which are the social networks and Google and things like this. So we only operate on behalf of the, the advertiser. So this is how we match uh, social uh, demo data. Any other question? Don't be shy. All right. Probably it means that I was clear. Uh, don't hesitate to, uh, to come to us. Uh, our German team is here today the, in, the, in the back. Uh, Clement and Klaus uh, are there. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to come to us. Thank you very much and enjoy your day.